Hey everybody, Kelly Ritchie here. Welcome to The Cutting Edge. What's new in March 2021? Let's dive in. Now, first of the year, I kicked off by adding a folder to the GoPro View section. It was titled Blues in the Key of A, and there were four songs. In January, we looked at the first song, which was My Baby's Gone Crazy, a flat tire, a shuffle, 145. Last month, we looked at Red House, Slow Blues. This month, we're going to look at the last two songs to wrap up the series, Tears Like Rain and Crossroads. Now, all four songs you will find in my Blues Grit series on the True Fire side. That series, there's an overview, a lead, and a breakdown. It's very succinct. Um, and that whole series, uh, I chose 10 different templates so I could really give people a cross-section of what I felt a guitar player needed to learn to be able to play, go to a jam session, start a band. Now, here in the channel, three of those songs are in the song packs and I do a deep dive. But I do teach all four songs, mainly the rhythm guitar parts, but the techniques with the GoPro view. So you will see the flat tire from My Baby's Gone Crazy and how to do that with the right hand, left hand muting. For Red House, you're gonna see um, some real traditional blues licks, how to do them. It's very helpful to be able to see down the neck of the guitar. Then for Tears Like Rain, this song incorporates a lick and rhythm and then finally, Crossroads. This has a drone in it. So with that drone, you have to be able to really mute. I drape my thumb over, I mute with this finger, my first finger. So there's some really good nuggets in Tears Like Rain and in Crossroads. Now, in the song pack section here, again, three of those songs you'll find, My Baby's Gone Crazy, Red House, and Crossroads, I have a slow version and a, a up-tempo version. So when I performed it live, I would typically play it up-tempo. Sometimes it just felt right to do it a little bit slower. So you'll find rhythm tracks for both. Okay, so that will wrap up this month those four songs, that cluster of songs that really lay the foundation for blues in the key of A. Next month, we'll move forward with other song packs also in the key of A. Last year, we focused a lot on E, and I'm a firm believer if you can play and really get your roadmap down in the key of E and in the key of A, it's really easy to move that around. But if you focus on those two areas for your learning, then I find it to be very helpful for building a strong foundation, all right? Now, I wanna remind everybody that the second Wednesday of every month, I'm doing a live Zoom call and people in the channel are invited. So I will put the Zoom link in the notes to this video, click on it and join in. Bring your questions. I plan to bring to the conversation um, doing a deeper dive on the blues in the key of A and really focusing on the different techniques, the tips and tricks, which I teach in several different places. Um, I have a section on tips and tricks, different techniques in the um, blues guitar for intermediate to advanced here in the channel. Plus, I did a whole separate section of that also in the GoPro view because so many techniques everywhere that I've taught, there's a front view camera. So like learning to do a pinch harmonic. There's so many things that if you can see this view, it really opens up your understanding to what all's going on behind the curtain, <laughs> okay? Uh, none of this is rocket science, but it is technique and it takes time. And if you can really see what's going on, it helps. So I put a whole section in the GoPro view on techniques. So be sure to check that out because playing lead guitar is about playing each and every note, then how you put them together. Okay, so there's a real art form 
to playing each and every note. As guitar players, we want to just play. And when I see people start to experiment with leads, they play lots of notes, but they don't necessarily really play any of them. You know, and it's, it's a mystery. I remember asking my guitar teacher, you know, how do you play lead? That's what everybody wants to learn. And, uh, you know, so he hands me the pentatonics. There's five dots all over the place. Well, that didn't feel very helpful. So, um, you know, that was before I had YouTube I didn't get to grow up with that. I didn't have all the technology we have now. I had my ear, I had the recordings, and I had a 30-minute lesson once a week. So, you know, we have different things available today to learn from, and that's wonderful. But don't overlearn. A lot of times people fall into the trap of learning and learning and learning more so than playing and playing and playing. All right, so make sure that you're playing. Hopefully, I will see you on the Zoom call. Again, that's March 10th, Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will be recorded and posted to the channel. Um, as soon as I'm done, I'll upload it, and you'll be able to have it in case you're in a different time zone or just can't make it, okay? So show up. If you have questions, I'll be glad to answer them. And let's have a good time, get to know each other, and I will see you on the other side. Have a great month. Practice hard and play even harder, okay? Take care.